In the last two years, Nigeria's ICT industry has grown at an average of 30% yearly, making it one of the fastest growing sectors of the nation's economy. But the impact of that growth, many say, is yet to translate to increase in per capita income for most Nigerians. And the reason, experts say, is because the access to quality and affordable internet is still a gully to cross. When we started uh, UUCP, Unis to Unis Copy for Dial-Up Internet Access in the early 90s, uh, what, were we, what were we having? <laughs> 1,200 kbps, <laughs> 1 1.2 kbps, mm -hmm. and after that to 2,400, 2.4 kbps, then to 4.8 kbps, to 9.6 kbps, you know, US robotics modem of those days. When we came to um, 256 kbps, or 128 kbps, 256 kbps, yes, and we went to 512 kbps, then to 1 meg, wow, it was... Uh, yeah. Uh, how will I put it? You were Himalayan in, mm -hmm. in, in our excitement. Over 42 million Nigerians are connected to the internet. But despite the huge user base, Nigeria's broadband speed is at an average of 2.73 megabit per second, which ranks the country 129th in the world and 9th in Africa. Hong Kong has the fastest average peak speed at 63.3 megabits per second, more than three times the global average of 18.4 megabit per second. Japan holds number two spot with an average of 50 megabit per second. The United States is the 11th position with 36.6 Mbps, while the United Kingdom broadband speed reached 14 megabit per second in May 2013. In Africa, Ghana also saw an average increase from 0.9% to 21.3 megabit per second in 2013. The question is, why has the average broadband speed in Nigeria refused to see a marginal increase? So do we wait until we have broadband everywhere before we start telling Nigerians about the benefits of this infrastructure? The answer is no. I mean, for us, it was a no-brainer. Because we cannot wait for the infrastructure to get the poor start telling us. Because what it will also do, if people know about this infrastructure, the pressure is then to the government or the network operators to build this infrastructure faster because that demand is increasing every single day. The country's Ministry of Communication Technology, created two years ago, has been able to raise awareness about ICT, develop a unifying ICT policy encourage innovation as well as facilitate the creation of a broadband strategy and roadmap which it says will lead to a five-fold increase in broadband penetration. I'm fully aware of uh, what our targets for what our current broadband penetration is and what we hope to, it to be by the year 2017. We're trying to get Nigeria connected to broadband because we all understand the benefits of broadband. We know that there's a well um, uh, a statement that again, a statistic that again, I'm sure that all of you as reporters in this industry know. For every 10% increase in connection to broadband, we get a 1.3% increase in GDP. So there's a correlation, a positive correlation between broadband and GDP. Mm -hmm. And so what the broadband has been working to do over the last um, uh, six to nine, six months or so, is to ensure that we get that connectivity. So if we move from 6.8% to 25-30%, you can do the math and see what contribution to GDP that this connectivity will deliver by the, by the year 2017. But while it may be wrong to begin to assess the industry's strategies vis-a-vis -vis its workability, industry watchers fear that the indices towards actualizing a five-fold increase in broadband penetration in the next four years are grossly lacking or inadequate. It may not be completely fulfilled for now until we have um, broadband in this ubiquity. Mm -hmm. We are moving in the right direction. Yes. There is something that make, gives someone joy mm -hmm. when you dream for something and you have dreamt of it, you are yearning for it, mm -hmm. and you know that you are moving in the right direction. And the right persons are at the driving seat. Why should the Nigerian government go beyond rhetoric and provide real broadband internet? The reason is simple. There is a marked relationship between economic development and broadband. When broadband is available, it will spread to all sectors of the economy, translating into measurable economic development, leading to the creation of more opportunities in the sectors of education, healthcare, employment, agriculture, industry, power, to mention but a few.